MT Live from this and that's indoor flea market. Today we are working on a HP Pavilion F1703 LCD monitor. Uh, we purchased this unit from a customer and come to find out the LCD unit only comes on for about 30 seconds and then the screen itself shuts down. Uh, we were able to do a little bit of troubleshooting and come to find out that the power supply actually has a cold spot on the board. Plug these back like quotes here. Can look out back here in the back side. If you look right there, there's a cold spot where there's basically not enough solder right there at the point of my finger. Here, I'll touch it with the uh, screwdriver right there. There's a cold spot. So, what we're going to do is uh, re solder that connection, add a little bit of solder, and hopefully that will solve our problem. Now, I'm just using a cheap soldering iron from Radio Shack. Came with some solder, it only cost me about $8, I believe, all together. $9 with tax. So, what we'll do is we'll heat up this particular area. Let's move this out of the way, yeah. Heat it up. Add just a little bit more solder to it and then one thing you want to also look at when you're working on this is to make sure that you don't see any kind of other cold spots or any other components that doesn't look like it has enough solder on it where to heat out and sort out I believe that's all it except for the diode right here it doesn't look like it has enough so we're gonna to want to put just a little bit more solder on those two ends there Again, that is a surface mount diode. That's not the problem, though. It was a cold spot, but I'm just taking a little bit of extra uh, precautions here because I do not like doing things twice. And it looks like that's about it. We unplug the soldering iron. Set that up there. Out of the way. Bring this back over here. Together. And then what you're going to want to do is plug back in your uh, backlight wires. Make sure you seat them securely. And then once you get those set, you want to go ahead and test out the monitor. Now, if you notice here, I actually set the screen on the blanket itself. Uh, the reason I did that is to protect the, uh, the facing of the LCD monitor. And as you can see, the monitor does come back on. And we'll wait a couple of seconds to make sure it doesn't shut off. You want to hold that for me for a second, Mom? While that's staying on for a second, I'll show you basically how to disassemble the uh, the cover. Uh, there's no screws that actually holds the cover. Sorry, I'm and so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Wow. Hey, it's still on. It still works. She didn't hear anything. That's why you should put it all together first. <laughs> anyway. 
basically there's no screws that hold the cover together uh, basically what you have to do is slowly or slightly uh, I started off at the bottom and I pried upwards on the plastic the gray plastic on the outside and then I just basically worked my way around um, as you can see the monitor is still on and sight of is dropping <laughs> But the monitor is still on and it did not shut off at this time. Uh, basically, that's it. Just had a cold spot on the power supply. Monitor works, functions well, as you can see. Here, the cursor somewhere on the screen somewhere. I don't know where I did with it. Where's the cursor at? Right there. There's your cursor. You can see the cursor. But uh, it works. Any questions, comments, posts?